surprising thing about it is because I have uh, come from the coast, I don't think anything about it. But when George McPhee came to do one of the celebrity recitals that marked the opening of the, the reopening of the organ, he got up to the organ gallery and was about two feet away from the organ bench when his first reaction was, oh my goodness, and he hadn't even seen the keyboards or the stops. What he was looking at was the sea view out of the window. And I had not really been aware of the fact that there was a sea view out of the window. When I come up here, I look out of the window and say, oh, the tide's in, and that's it. <laughs> but for somebody who comes from somewhere inland, like Josh McPhee, organist at Paisley Abbey, then a sea view is really quite remarkable to have <laughs> out of the window. But it also means that, that uh, there is so much light comes in that on a summer night you can practice the organ till after 10 o'clock at night without any lights on because of all the daylight that comes in through the window at the back. Many people don't really like to play it at services because they feel so far away from the minister that they find it difficult to, to know when it's time to play the next time or get ready for the, the collection or something like that. But I don't, I don't mind it at all. And in, in fact, uh, I quite like being at what I call the back of the back of the back of beyond because uh, I am at the back of the organ. I was far, when I'm sitting here, I'm as far back as the, the actual works of the organ go. They're at the back of the gallery, the gallery is at the back of the transept, and so for everybody else in the congregation, that is beyond. So I'm at the back of the back of the back of beyond in here. The organ itself is run entirely by compressed air. So when you turn the tap on, the water engine fills the main bellows downstairs, and then the communication from the console, which is in here, to the mechanism under the pipes is all done by compressed air, which was very common in uh, the, about 1900. As far as I know, there are only two left working in Scotland, blowing organs. This one here and the other one in St Mary's Episcopal Church in Dalkeith. The organ was built by Norman and Beard in 1909 and the water engine was installed by John Barr of Glasgow at the same time. The water engine, the water engine is, is something that a plumber wouldn't, wouldn't uh, know about, so a plumber wouldn't really be able to mend. And uh, we've relied on a succession of marine engineers, mostly retired, who have uh, been able to take it apart and understand what goes on inside it and uh, put in the odd new uh, washer and uh, so on and fix it. But over the years, wear and tear took their toll and uh, a few years ago the main bellows of the organ and the water engine were both very desperately in need of restoration. So an appeal was set up and lots of money was, was obtained from Heritage Scotland and um, and the Lament, of course, the Gusta Lament Fund from uh, the Presbytery of Argyll. And we got the whole thing restored, top to bottom, water engine and uh, pipe organ. <laughs>